And then we're back. Okay, so now we are at the time where Ramona tells our friend Destiny, this is how we make money now, girl. And then they took him out to, they took Destiny out to a bar and they had clients come into them and they were basically drugging their drinks and they would have the other two more girls come and be like, oh, hey, those are my friends, or hey, those are my sisters. Mm -hmm. And then they would help, and then they would... Quote this guy into the car to go to the club, and... Then they would basically spend all his money. Max out the car. And getting him drunk enough to where he'll still pay money, but sober enough to where he can still sign a check. He can sign the... Yeah, that's, that's funny how they were saying that. They are like, you gotta be drunk enough to spend the money, but you gotta be able to sign the check. Yep. There were so many scenes where they were like trying to hold their hands. It's like, it's okay, boo, you can do this. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't. Wait, I don't think they ended up killing anybody in this movie, and I was no. shocked. Aww. But there was one part where. No violence. Um, <laughs> True story. I don't know if everyone died well, but they should have because some of the times that they like drugged the people, yeah. I was like, oh my god, this person is like 100% dead now. Yeah, there was one dude that they had to take to the hospital because they had the, uh, it was ketamine M something four. Yeah, that's uh, what they use to get cats or dogs high before they euthanize them. No, or is it? I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that yeah. ketamine's a horse tranquilizer. Yeah. We, we, uh. And horses are bigger than people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I used to have some, and I had to keep it under guards because, like, people would use it for roofies, and. Oh, I was gonna say there's like a horse. Well, no, there's different levels. Like, there's truth serum. You can get truth serum on it, but the idea is like you give it. Actually, you, you give it. To, if you want to hear the truth about euthanizing animals, is like you they'll give it to dogs, so that you know they'll you know to kill them but for they won't give it to cats they'll just straightly kill cats I'm not making this stuff up because they don't feel like cats give a crap like <laughs> hey hey you gonna cats are like hey you're gonna be man enough to kill me just go ahead and kill me i know it is but for dogs they'll give it to dogs because like everybody knows dogs like their brains are like look i love you here let me give you some of this stuff I really love you. Okay, goodbye. And he's gone. But like And then you'll get home and they'll be like <laughs> They're dead, Alex. They're not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I said, I had Yeah, I had some and about dogs. Yeah, this guy I worked with, I did not trust him because I felt like he was a type of guy to use it for roofies. So I called the local medics and I said, can you guys keep this under lock and key? And when we need it for emergencies, I can get it from you. And they were able to keep it under lock and key. Because this guy was a horn dog that I worked with. And I did not trust him at all with this stuff. Yeah, I'm really glad you did something then. Because that's fucking, that's, that's, sorry. That was a bad word. That was, that's terrifying. I did yeah. not mean to curse. Like that. Yeah, it, it is because it it is. But anyways, it's basically roofies, and there's just different levels. But it's like, you know, and like, I knew about the situation you're talking about. But my feelings is the reason why the strip clubs went down, is, of course, was because of porn and because of Craigslist. And now Craigslist yeah. is like getting they're cracking down on Craigslist now. So it's like probably strip clubs are making a uh, comeback and they're trying to do their best but and plus trying to get people socialized even that they're having family nights at strip clubs now and where the strippers what? <laughs> yeah <laughs> well they had uh, family nights at in the red light district of Amsterdam and uh, Alex if you you know about what the red light district is in Amsterdam right yeah, yeah. where you can get where you get some fun brownies and ladies sell themselves inside the little window there and so they had family yeah. night. So you like bring the kids over and play, a, you know, board game with a hooker. It was really fun. Yeah. And of course, my politics is is here's the thing. I used to think that you know I believe that hooking should be legal, but the truth is it is already legal. So there's no reason to pass any laws. <laughs>
complicated. I um. It's really doctor, legal. Not, it's really well, legal. Be honest with you. Training yeah. to like see like to be able to tell signs that people are in a dangerous situation. Right. But it's so hard because at that point you don't know if they're in the dangerous situation, or by you. choice yeah. or if they're right. Well, yeah, that's so that's a situation you got to look at. Here's the two bottom line. Well, th- actually three. I mean, like you take for instance Carson City where it's legal, right? And they go through extraneous testing. They test you. They test the, the, uh, you know, the worker. And they f- say, okay, you're free. You clean now. Go have fun. Okay, that's Carson City. All right. Then there's like you said, there's the issue. Then you got disease. So that's number one. You got to worry about. For some strange reason, if you have sex with multiple partners, you know that becomes a danger risk. Don't ask me why. Then number two. Uh, then you have the issue of minors because, like, during the Super Bowl, you know why the Super Bowl is in Arizona? It is always illegal for right. minors. Minors, to be yeah. In any kind so, of like, in, do that, you know why they have a for, Super Bowl in Arizona? Now, hmm? you know why they have Super Bowl in Arizona? Why? Because they have they're already uh, experienced in cracking down on like sex trafficking. Because they prevent wow. people from... See, that's the whole thing. People's like, hey, let's get rid of all the borders. The problem is, like, Arizona and places like that in Texas, there's, like, sex trafficking going back and forth. And it's like, oh, yeah, that, you don't want... And, and the worst thing, you see, they didn't, can't have the Super Bowl in New Jersey and New York anymore because they, they're mothers. These are mothers now. Are selling their 15-year-old daughters during the Super Bowl for money. And this goes what, on... What? Players are like to the people who come in. Come in because you're talking about hundreds, 200, uh, half a million people, maybe a million people coming to the Super Bowl and Olympics. And you got this uh, mother going, hey, come over here. Come over here. What? What? Hey, my daughter's 15. You want something? Like that? I'm like, no. Wow. <laughs> I don't know that. So, oh so they moved it to Arizona where they're like already busting sex traffickers every day. Like Arizona and California and Texas are like all the time. And people don't want to talk about it. They're like, Oh, well, no, no, we need to have open borders. Oh, yeah, let's let's have a bunch of 13-year-old girls being sold on the street. I, I really want that. No, not, no, I'm sorry. That just Ooh, ain't dying down with that. And of course, we live, in the, yeah, we live in the Midwest. It's a little harder to do that. By the time you get to Georgia, they figured it out. <laughs> you know, they're like, the crazy thing, though, is it happens everywhere, not only mm. just like sex trafficking. There's, there's yeah. so many different types of trafficking that I learned about, but well, well, we can do an educational video on it later, but this is a movie. Anyways, back so. into the stripping and the and the cat ketamine and <laughs> So we got about twenty more minutes to talk about drugging people. How are we, how are we gonna do this? Um uh, They use their bodies to I, I I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay. So uh at this point Debate uh, Debate. How's that work? One. Baiting. Uh, <laughs> They end up, they're like, okay. <laughs> and they have to have like a group doing it because they're trying some of these guys okay not even kidding you some of these guys will be like oh my gosh i just lost five thousand dollars at the strip club and they'll call these girls back and they'll do it again yeah there was people that like went back and like would let yeah themselves get drugged several the times. cops were like yo we need to do something about this and then they'd go and get like testimonials and they'd find out yo this dude lost like 20 grand and went back three more times. And Can you imagine like, having that much money to be able like, well, I apparently had a fun night that I don't remember. Let's do it again. And the fact that, I mean, I guess it can't be considered illegal if people are going back, technically. I mean, it was illegal, but they didn't know what was going on. So that's... Yeah. But yeah, it was definitely Well, no, that is a uh, fact. Because you're, well, because the coercion. person's like, un- yeah. So it's definitely coercion not. Coercion is illegal, right? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to look about laws to be honest. Are you talking about entrapment or are you talking about coercion? It's like, like another two layers. Maybe. maybe I'll think about it later. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue with our <laughs> no, stripping, no, hooking, and Wall Street. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Baiting and fishing. So, yeah, uh, so since they're like doing this with so many people, they are uh, starting to outsource. They're bringing girls into the group 
to be doing this with them because they need yeah. more people at this point to be helping them do it so they can do it at different times and places and all that. And yeah. uh, basically, they just they get mixed up with some of the wrong people that end up selling them out. And There's like, one girl that she swore she was like okay and trustful and then she got caught and it was like and she was i'll tell you everything yeah and you know where's the wire and everything and that's one thing i was thinking i was like dude if i am like so deep in it with like a bunch of friends and everything don't you think you would mouth to them like hey i'm wearing a wire yeah I'm wearing a wire like you or like write it down yeah or something man like i'm not saying like i know that's extremely illegal but if you've been doing illegal things with these girls for like i don't know how long this has been going on it was a couple of years that they had been doing they started and they kept going yeah. and there were nights that they would walk into the club and this was before they had just like well i mean this plays on the old crime drama thing and this is one thing they always did like you watch the quest and movies like that there are no honor among thieves and they always write that in there for some reason i think that's probably what they did there you know to make it yeah. a, a crime drama <laughs> One of the girls was like a coke head, and so her, her head one. looks like a literal coke bottle, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her head was a coke bottle. It was insane. I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, the, the skinny girl was diet coke too. head. So, anyways, I don't think I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need your other hand to do that later. Let's get to the climax yeah. scene. The climax. What? Let's get to the climax. Uh, okay, I feel like this is the climax. Yeah. Um, she's yeah. wearing the wire. And this and... is a little bit after um, it flashes back to 2015 and the interviewer. The character's name is Jennifer. She is uh, just being like, so. Basically, she says she's writing an article about what's going on and Destiny now in 2015 is talking to her. Yeah. And she had a tape recorder, which was kind of weird i mean i worked for radio and stuff before so that's kind of how it is when um, you interview someone as you have okay. it on record but oh uh, yeah you've never done interviews before what are you talking about <laughs> what dude oh. i had someone say something about going to karaoke one time and i was like why would i i can't sing like what <laughs> liar liar hey we used to have a cosplayer and you know her name she'd say She'd tell me everything that she'd done, and I knew I had on film, she'd tell me she didn't do. And you're like, okay, whatever. Oh, and of course so I played funny. along with it. Because she's, okay, anyways, go ahead. So, we're to the climax. Uh, um, well, they get caught, and then they, um, let's see. One of them gets caught, and then Destiny texts, who was it? Oh, it was the, what's the? Annie? Yeah, it was Anna. Annie. Annabelle, Lily Reinhardt. Yes. Who is actually from Riverdale. Really? Yep. Nice. But um, she gets a message from Destiny saying, run. And so then... But the she cops, didn't have time to, though, so... Yeah, literally right after she got the message, uh, she saw a cop like, walking in front of her window who bust her door in. And she tries to run out the window, and then they grab her, and mm -hmm. then... Oh, yeah, on. pretty much everyone gets arrested and it does the whole, like, you know, after true crime movies, they'll be like, this person got this many years of jail. Yep. And what I noticed is all the other girls that were doing this, like, the two main people got, like, sentences. Like, they were in jail for a while. And then, well, like, okay. the other girls, they had, like, weekends in jail on probation. And I was like, are you kidding me? So, what, what, so Destiny, she uh, took a plea that she sold out Ramona. Mm-hmm. And the only reason that she did that was because they were like, yo, your child is not going to have a mother. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so what happened was she took the plea, sold out Ramona, and then Ramona got five years probation. No, I think Ramona went to jail for something. I think Ramona was the only one that actually went to jail for like a while. I don't know. All I'm saying is that their sentences were super low for what they were doing for yeah. how long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, if you this think? Was guys, I, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, like life sentences. 25 like, years to life. Like I said, like I said, I'm like you. I'm not I'm not familiar with the legal system. But you got to understand, too, like, it could be a situation like cops go to strip joints, too. You got to think about that, too. 
That's also true. Yeah, yeah. and that, and I'm not saying that that's I mean, yeah, right. I guess. Yeah, I'm not saying that's right, but you know, it's the way it is. And it's like there is a you can watch this documentary. There was a lady who had killed like 20 or 30 people and had buried the bodies underneath the brothel that she lived at. And the cops did not know about it because they, she was providing, you know, escorts to the cops in London. And for a long time, they couldn't figure out. Their people were like, and we, and we couldn't figure out why we did not know about the 20 or 30 bodies underneath there. Because you're upstairs banging a hooker. Yeah, I, you're not looking for the bodies. You're doing yeah, stuff with Exactly. Other and it, it's a very bait and switch. And, of course, like, you know, maybe she might have confessed in sex. Oh, yes, I have bodies underneath. Like, you're, you're going to pay attention. But the point is, I mean, this actually happened. And the husband actually went to jail to cover up, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. But anyways, you know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, they didn't kill anybody, right? No. No. There you was one think guy that, in the hospital. Right. Yeah. And he was the naked guy that we yeah. saw. At yeah. least in the movie. Yeah, he was, he was yeah. the lucky person who we got to see their beat. Yeah. And you make a lot of compromise. And here's another thing. You make a lot of compromises for your kids, too. And that's another thing. You uh -huh. know, think no, that's that. totally like I don't yeah. have any, you know. You know, because like I'm not saying that I don't know what to do in that situation because right. one, I don't have kids, and two, I'm not drugging men. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, all you gotta do well, is take care of Alex, you. and that's yeah. it. And you know, that's a tough situation. But you know. I don't even have to drug him. <laughs> he just <laughs> shows up. <laughs> just shows up. <laughs> You're some kind of me. Want to get lunch? And it's like. You know, we as men, we do stupid stuff for women, and that's the and, and that's the truth. It's like you want to take it, it, whatever dumb stuff you've done in your life. You know, whether whether it's for drugs or whether it's for you know adventure or to get that emotional high. You know, we do dumber stuff for women. And that's just God's honest truth, and it's oh, and and it's a and and like I say, you know, the V is very powerful motivation. You know, it's very. Or in my case, it's men that act like women. <laughs> is that what? You... I don't know who you're referencing, but um. Uh, so so let's get on to recommendations. Right. What do you reckon? What. Do you recommend that was this? not pointed towards you at all, actually. I'm sorry. What was it? Are, do we recommend this movie? Yes. Um, Sounds like you do. <laughs> Sounds like you do. I mean, I mean, I think you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed like it. it. Yeah. I, I definitely enjoyed it. If you're going for something that you're looking for, like, uh, informational about, like, what happened in this person's life. Right. I wouldn't necessarily go for this movie. It was but entertaining. If you're just like, yeah, if you're looking to have fun and just watch something yeah. that's funny. And, um, they yeah. did a good job portraying so telling the story. So you're saying if I it watch this cool. film, it's I couldn't like bad. put it in an essay and turn it to my professor as a thesis. They would like look down upon it. Is that what you're saying? Because yeah. it's not uh, factual. Uh, you know what? Do it. Do it anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the anger with this on your shoulder. Right, because I, I wanted. I to, all right, so <laughs> <clears throat> real quick, like I mean, we got a few little bits. Um, I was going to say something else about the acting, but I'm sure the acting was all right. The acting was okay. Nothing bad as far as the acting was. No, no, okay. I didn't the have acting any was spot on. All right, number I, two, I like acting it. was good. I know I say this every time. Yeah, uh, I've seen worse movies. But this time I can say, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was a good movie. It yeah. wasn't like strong performances, right? The Phoenix, where you don't know what the flip is going on throughout yeah, the okay. entire movie. Well, we can start now. You know. Okay. Asperia. What about Asperia? Now's the time to go watch it. Yeah. I'm going to have to go watch that when I get home, you know, on the Hooking to Daddy Productions uh, channel. Oh, dude, I love him. He's my favorite. Dude, YouTuber. I know, right? Uh, please, I don't, please, I don't please, 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 stop, stop, stop. My head is big enough. So um, that's the reason I have to take these Robin pills to keep it down. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so. I'm glad I don't need pills, guys. I'm glad I don't need pills for my Robin. <laughs> for your little Twitter. So. Um, yeah. Down below to comment on Kiddo's Twitter account. So. 
if you i mean okay okay as far as oscar performances is there any oscar performances of this this is a drama so this could be an oscar film besides now you guys saw hollywood uh once a time upon in hollywood and probably leonardo yeah. will be one that will get some buzz obviously i think brad probably did a better job but as far yeah. as here do we got some strong performances here that could be an oscar buzz you got some actresses that could get the uh the globe or not the globe but the little naked gold man jennifer lopez's boobs boobs Cardi B's boobs too. Acting wise, so do you think that she could get? Uh, acting wise, her boobs were great. Excuse you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think. Um. um I think Cardi B's boobs. Have I haven't more seen too much with. Okay, what was her name? Let me see. I haven't seen too much with Constance Wu. I enjoyed it though. Um, Jennifer Lopez was flawless in everything she portrayed and pulled off. Um, I'm not too familiar with what's Oscar worthy. And with this movie, well, I would Well, Leonardo. Say that Leonardo is probably would. a good standard. Leonardo is. For Holly, for the Hollywood movie? I would say probably Brad would probably, to me, Brad is probably the stronger one, but he'll probably get supporting. Yeah, I'd say if everyone were to get it in that movie, it would be him. Well, but there you go. There's an Oscar, Oscar performance movie. right there. There's an Oscar performance there. Now, is somebody, one of them girls, worthy of that, at least? Um... Let's look at the cast list. Because I'm, I'm saying the person I said would be I the best would be Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. Yeah. yeah okay, okay, there you go. And that's what I'm trying to say. This is an it's Oscar buzzed well. movie. This is a movie that is going to the Oscars. Got to go. Because it's a drama, right? And dramas go. Yeah. You know, like if, uh, you know, this, this Downton uh, Abbey, it'll probably go as well. And it's like, you know, because it's old British people that talk a lot. Those always go to the Oscars, you know. Nothing, I mean, nothing like, uh, you're not going to see Toy Story 7 at the Oscars or Fast and Furious 11. Hey, you know what? Toy Story 72 will be an Oscar for sure. Okay, well, here's my predictions. Fast and Furious. The people are toys and the toys are people. All right, so that's my number two. Okay, so you do see an Oscar. Okay, number three, soundtrack-wise. Do we got a good soundtrack on this one? They had some good... Well, they had Usher in the club. Yeah, so. they did. That, uh, that alone, I'd say, yeah. They played some Cardi B because she's in the movie. Yeah. Uh, they played Royals by Lord, And I'm basic, if you want to call me basic, but I love that song, and I feel like everyone loves that song. Do you love that song? But do you love that song? Yes. Okay, it's fair that I'm basic, but it's a good song. So, especially for, well, like, the whole vibe song, of the woman power of the movie, I... That was good. It's an old song, but it fit really well. So. Okay. Well, I got to figure there has Weird. to be there has to be some good soundtrack because you got a strip club and you know because strippers do not st strip to acapella. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's so true. your acapella groups, I'm sorry, strippers do not use your, <gasps> you know, that and classical Dude, music. It's like. Stripper acapella group. Yeah. They sing acapella and strip at the same time. Okay. All right. So on the fact of crime dramas such as this and Joker getting a lot of negative press, uh, this is getting a lot of negative press. Is this bad for society? I mean, are these movies good or bad for society? I mean, I hate to bring in the moral yeah, qualm. I think this is bad. Why? Yeah, I'd say because... this is totally bad for society, but it was entertaining and it's like a thing and everybody wants to know about it and hear about it because right. it's a thing. Uh, yeah, it's totally bad for society. Should this be a movie? Probably not, but it it's is. Glorifying and it's glorifying cool. what. Yeah. I feel like in a way it's informing about like what happened because a lot of people don't really know. Mm -hmm. They haven't heard about right. it. But it's also kind of glorifying, um, like the whole situation that happened with Cardi B, mm -hmm. and I don't feel like that's necessary. I don't even think it's necessary for people to know about it mm -hmm. because like. Only the people who should know about it are the people who are involved and the prison staff that works mm -hmm. at the prison that Cardi B should be in. That's my own personal opinion. Yeah, it yeah. was an interesting story. I see why everybody, uh, why it's so hyped. You know, I understand why it's got so much coverage. Do I think this is good for society? No. Do I think that strip clubs and GTA and guns and video games are good for society? No. Are we going to take those out anytime soon? 
No, no, it's life. You're saying it, you're, it's a reflection of us. It's like, you know, looking in the mirror and there's that pimple and it's there. And you're like, why am I showing this pimple? Because it's life. And, you know, there is yeah, reality. I of it. So. Like this is here. Yeah. If we can appreciate it, that's cool. Right. Should it be there? It's not. If it was up to me to say, then I, it wouldn't be here. I will you tell know? you one thing. I can guarantee you that movie has given other strippers ideas. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, girl. But yeah. let's let's, let's take this into account and let's be honest. People are not making thousands of dollars at the strip club anymore. Mm -mm. I, at one yeah. time, <laughs> at one time, yes, y'all, it was a thing, and it's like when I was younger, I didn't have any. Pro I never went to a strip club because, like I said, I just couldn't see it. You know, I like sweets. You know, uh, I obviously, I don't like drugs. You know, I'm not big on drugs. I'm going to be like that. Yeah. Right, you take over. Yeah, I don't like uh, drugs really that much. Never never really attracted to me. Beer and stuff don't really attract me. Uh, I like yeah. music, but I like the ladies. But there's something about, like, you go on a date with a girl, and you get this intimate relationship and everything like that. There's something about that that is more fulfilling than going to a strip club paying some money for a girl to pretend like she likes you and to me if you're going to do yeah. that you might as well go all the way with an escort and and it's like with me I, I I don't really condemn escorts because escorts have so many things you can do with them they can be actresses they can be dancers they can be all kinds of things they can be dates so there's like a purpose with 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 escorts versus yeah. like with strippers it's this this and this i mean it's like if i wanted to you know like if i do an album cover i can go through nashville and go through the escort places and i can find a model for the album cover right and say hey would you do like and they do have like modeling charges so there's kind of a purpose for that but it's kind yeah. of like with stripping i if you're thinking it's an art form i'm i'm, I'm sure it is but then it's like it's that's technically way, yeah but, but yeah because right coming from the dancing angle because like kiddo knows i've had a big thing with dancing but i've had changed my view like on the j-pop thing because i did not know that these guys were trying to sexualize it you know what i'm saying because it's weird to me because like you guys were like in fluffy dresses and like had shorts underneath your thing and i got to see a lot of shorts underneath the dresses because y'all were proud of the shorts that you wore underneath the dresses but y'all were like in dresses and i was thinking okay this is cute and blah 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 now if someone's out there sexualizing it it made me feel uncomfortable to find that information out because it's like they're in f you know what i'm saying i don't understand that there's people out there sexualizing it you know but then when you take like stripping and erotic dancing are they like actually knowing that they're like causing a guy to get hard or whatever you know what i'm saying is that wrong or not you know that's my question that's my problem i wonder about it because if they're up there like knowing that they're turning the guy on to get his money is there a moral qualms there you know what i'm saying you have to ask someone who's in that line of work i guess I'd yeah say. well i dated i dated a former stripper i mean i i and her here's what the thing was with her is like you know of course most of them are like college students trying to pay off their college bills right because you got books you got all this stuff you got to pay for so like you go to the local strip joint pay for your college stuff and you can do it you, you make decent living but she said she quit well because the guys kept on asking her for sex and it, she just got yeah. tired of it yeah, and in the movie. right well, and that's the reason why i i never felt guilty about filming like kiddo or whatever because i never felt like people were like asking kiddo can you well I was like can we go back to the back room and you can feed me pocky or whatever if i found that was going on i would be like really upset because i was thinking about this other day i gotta give you show you this creepy since we're done we're done with this we're pretty huh? we're pretty cool we're done with this movie then yeah we're good okay, we're okay. Time and i'm a, okay what hey bye thank guys bye we're gonna talk a little bit five bye. minutes bye because this is this is off the record i'm gonna stop this recording and get this up who's your daddy <laughs> <laughs>